What's up guys, it is Chris back with another news video and today we have news from Omega and a new Speedmaster 57. Before we get into it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. So as I mentioned, Omega are back with an Omega Speedmaster 57. They have been releasing a few watches over the past few days. This is their season for new watch releases. So if you are not familiar with the current automatic version of the Omega Speedmaster 57 from their Heritage Speedmaster collection, you are not alone. Although a very beautiful watch, it was mainly overshadowed by more popular versions of Speedmasters. The automatic is about 41.5 millimeters. It's a bi-compact layout. It's basically a reinterpretation of the original 1957 Speedmaster. So it's not a recreation. It's more of an interpretation of that original watch. However, there have been always complaints about the thickness due to the automatic caliber Omega 9300 and it's also a lot of people saying missing the mark because of that thickness and because of the bi-compacts layout. Before we go on I just wanted to mention watchshopping.com. Watchshopping.com have sponsored this video and they are a really great place to go for new and pre-owned watches. They carry dozens of the brands that we talk about here on this channel. They have them new and they have them used at great prices. They have brands such as Grand Seiko, Seiko, Tissot, Omega, Casio, they have G-Shocks. They really do carry a ton of different watches on their website. Definitely check them out at watchshopping.com. Omega have announced a new generation of these Speedmaster 57s uh, heritage models in a smaller case, so 40.5 millimeters, and now they are coming with a new manual wine Metas certified caliber, the 9906. And really the big news here is that it is thinner, much thinner than the previous automatic version, which was over 16 millimeters thick, about 16.5 millimeters thick. This new 57 is the smallest Metas certified Speedmaster yet. Coming in at only 13 millimeters thick, so this is actually under 13 millimeters thick with a 40.5 millimeter case, so they have downsized the case by a millimeter, uh, will make this watch way more wearable than its automatic cousin. So this will be a lot thinner, so therefore wear a lot better. Also to note, this is a reinterpretation, as I mentioned, of that original 1957 CK2915 Speedmaster. So it's not really a reissue, therefore its size is still slightly larger than that original watch. Uh, and you're also getting that bi compacts layout. So those are two things that you really have to keep in mind. So it's a reinterpretation, not a reissue. Uh, if it was a reissue, it would have a three register chronograph layout that that original Speedmaster had. Omega are also adding a few new bright colors. Uh, for dials here, you're getting a blue, burgundy, black, and green options. So also to note, you will be able to see that beautiful 9906 hand wound movement from the back sapphire crystal. So you're getting a sapphire crystal on the back and the front of this watch. You're getting a stainless steel flat link bracelet on this watch. And it's a little bit different from what Omega have been doing recently. So the center links are actually uh, brushed on here rather than polished and the outer links are polished. So it's a little bit different. Price for this new smaller manual wine Speedmaster 57 is coming in at $8,300 on a leather, leather strap. $8,600 on a bracelet. It's actually cheaper than the automatic version for one reason or another. Uh, however, it is just slightly cheaper. I believe that was a $9,000 watch. This is coming in at around $8,600 on a bracelet. So $9,000 on a bracelet for that automatic as well. However, if you're looking for a true reissue of that CK219, I, I always say this, your best bet is to look at the limited edition Speedmaster 1957 Trilogy reissue. Uh, it's a watch that actually came out a few years ago. I think it was in 2017, somewhere around there. It's essentially a faithful recreation of that original Speedmaster in almost every single way, including a vintage Omega logo, the case, the case size, the dial layout. You even get a sapphire crystal that mimics the acrylic crystal and you get that Omega logo that's etched in the center. So they really went almost all the way here uh, to make this a faithful recreation of that CK2915. Uh, so if you are interested in that, that's the way to go. This is really a reinterpretation, as I mentioned. When that new trilogy version, the one that I just mentioned, uh, was actually released, it was actually $7,000. So cheaper than this, it is an automatic. 
uh, but it is $1,600 cheaper when it was actually released new. You can still get them today if you are interested in, uh, you know, from gray market dealers and eBay and places like that for around $7,000. So you could still get it for the price that was asked uh, when it was new. And it's really not a bad watch in my opinion. And I think that's around 38.5 or 39 millimeters. It's really uh, specific to that original watch. It's very, very close to that original watch. Um, so if you're interested in something like that, definitely go this route. This is a good looking watch. I really like the movement that they've used on here. It's a reinterpretation, so it looks a little bit different. It's not exactly the same. It's a little bit more modern. Um, if you're interested in that, it looks very, very good. Uh, applied indices on those colorful dials. If you're getting the black dial, you're getting a sandwich dial, a little bit different between the two models, but that's really it. Uh, tell me what you guys think of these new models in the comments below. Tell me what you think of what Omega are doing. They're announcing a lot of new watches and they're also in announcing some uh, upgraded watches. So they're changing some of the colors on the dials and adding some new options to a few other watches as well. I'll do a video about those as well. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.